tuning into 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Barry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Boston. White in at shooting guard with Brown playing small forward. The post pair, Tatum and Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for the Trailblazers, the forward spots will be Avdia and Grant. Henderson and Simons are their guards. And it's Aiton in at the five down low. And what a matchup we have here in the front court break. Yeah, each of these teams are anchored by their big men. I think it's going to be physical and highly intensified. And it's going to be the Trailblazers off the tip. Inside. And the dunk by Grant. How about the athleticism of Grant just extending that time? And they double up Brown. Stolen by Henderson. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Grant, that's good. Changing ends quickly, he's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now here's White, and there's the pass to Persingas. The kick out to Brown, and he's good on the Jaylen three ball. Brown. It's so smooth when Brown is feeling it from deep. No hesitation. Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. They're catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. And when you're a knockdown shooter like you were with the kind of athleticism that Anthony Simons possesses, Brent, you're in rarefied air. Yeah, no doubt Anthony, one of those guys, really tough to stop. you got to pick your poison with him. That quickness and his ability to get to the rim, though, that can impact what they do offensively. And Grant doing a great job. Just bounced off the contact there and then finished off the shot. Holiday looking over the floor. Count it. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Aiton. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Uh, the classic big man play there, just pushing right past the defense and finishing strong. On the wing, a holiday. There's Persingas, and that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on eight. First team foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Portland. Two shots. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. First one falls for him. Well, some people call Porzingis a unicorn, and they're not wrong. His terrific stature and the shooting ability, that is a rare combination. And both free throws good for Porzingis. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, watch the story. Hey, guys. Will this year mark the loss of Blazers great, Hall of Famer, and truly a one-of-one one, Bill Walton, one of the greatest big men this league has ever seen, known for his incredible passing skills. And off the court, he was just as dedicated to assisting others and making the world a better place. Guys, there is no question Bill Walton will be missed. His legacy carries on. Okay, Shams, we appreciate the reporting. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Chauncey Billups. Dave, what do you have to say? We talked about how they plan to deal with Jalen Brown. He said Brown's explosive off the dribble, so we have to have bodies in front of him, be physical with him, stay connected with him at all times. See if they can keep Jalen in check. Back to you guys. Thank you, David.
Tatum good for at least one highlight finish a night. This guy is box office. Here's Henderson. The rebound by the Celtics. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Here's Tatum. Uses the glass to finish the way. Tatum. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. And there's the frame being put to use by Tatum. He knows he's dangerous down low. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First, first. At each season, GA, it seems like Anthony Simons is given more and more responsibility. And you can understand why. He's proven to be a versatile scorer. And now we are seeing him take the next step with his playmaking. That free throw, no good. GA, these Boston Celtics are unquestionably a top-tier offensive unit. Stupendous shooting, excellent instincts with the ball. Yeah, they are a model offense in many ways, making it tough for many teams to keep up with them. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Williams, he's checked in for First, Jeremy Grant. Murray comes in for Avdia. And Shaden Sharp subbed in for Scoot Henderson. Devontae Graham's checked in for Anthony Simon. To the inside. Here's Holiday. That shot is off. Williams with the defensive effort. Here's Ayton. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And that's now six points for DeAndre Ayton. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. Minutes, the now, here's eight. Six points for him. Murray, the pass to Graham. Looking for eight, and he gets it in there. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. He's a pretty high percentage shooter from there. Eight in size and touch. It's a pretty tough combo to go against. Pritchard passes to Horford. The rebound by Sharp. Portland leading by seven. Here's Graham. Here's Ayton. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Yeah, if Ayton can get in that kind of position, he can be a bully on the inside. Holiday with it. Pass to Hauser. Boston again missing. To the paint. Here's Williams. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight? Just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Hauser misses. left side there's 38 seconds left here in the first quarter and sharp has it in the corner over holiday and again it's portland converted excellent all-around performance so far hence the big lead well if i was baking up a lead i'd add two ingredients one would be playing smart the other one playing selfless They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Here's Pritchard. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Back to Aiton. Goes up the baseline. Rebound, Boston. Now Holiday. DeAndre, he has been the guy making things happen for the Portland Trailblazers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Trailblazers enjoying a nice lead here. Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. On the court for the Celtics, the guards are Pritchard and White. And in the front court, Brown and Tatum. And it's Brzingis in at the five spot. Now, Simon. After Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside, White. 
Off target at the rim. And so it's Abdia with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. And that one's good. Bible. That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Tatum. Pass to Brown. From the arc. And Klingon pulls it down. Trailblazers leading by 15. To the wing right side. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Plays it up and brings it in. Greg, you look at the great coaches. What are one or two of the most important qualities for success that you see? Well, for me, Kevin, I think you got to be able to adapt tactically. I mean, that's huge, and especially in the playoffs. But most important, can, can you motivate and unify a locker room? That leadership quality is what really puts a coach motivate over the top. Three. And they call him a little screen here. Uh, when a pick oh, like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. Anderson. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Grant, he's checked in for Portland. Scoot Anderson comes in for Matisse Thibel. Here's Klingon. 17-point lead, their biggest. Here's Simon. And he finishes nicely on the way. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's White. Hasn't made one yet. Outside, Brzingis lets the three fly. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And that one stood by Henderson. A little like Donovan Mitchell there. Henderson makes some really tough shots in traffic. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Well, there's plenty of scorers on the Celtics, but Jason Tatum says, I'm going to get my shots. It's just about trusting the process. From experience, I understand that I'm good enough that I can relax and defer a little bit. Then in the fourth, I can score 20 in the quarter. Kevin, sounds like he's figured it all out. Thank you so much. You know, he can take over at any time. Boston and it's time fun to watch. DA, we thank you for that. And now, the first time I'll call here for Boston. Hey, Brett, what's one area where we really see these Portland Trailblazers excel? Well, they're great on the offensive glass. They have presence on the inside. Uh, they have a ton of focus on just collecting rebounds. So great at retrieving those misses. Boston's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. White the pass to Persingas, and it's a defensive three second, second violation. Celtics ball. And this the is his first trip Celtics. to the line tonight. Yeah, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And so he hits the technical free throw. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Brown, good. Brown. That's a smart pass. Get it to Brown and just let Jalen cook. Simon's on the wing. Pass to Klingon. Back to Simons. Over White. And it's Simons missing. Celtics trail by 19. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, we 
Perfect shot, you can see why. <laughs> that one's first pretty first strange. Foul. I mean, no first idea foul. what got into his head right Seven, there. Two, Here's what Portland's four. going with right now. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Klingon. Murray comes in for Avdia. And Jaden Sharp subbed in for Anthony Simon. Brown, good. Brown. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You need to see him give up in that situation. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And stolen by Murray. Anderson with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Here's Grant, and the shot goes in. Grant's got 10. Oh, good pass right there from Sharp. These types of plays really help team chemistry. We know, Grant, there are many roads that lead to the modern NBA. And Shaden Sharp took his own unique path. Yeah, Kevin, you could say that again. I mean, he was on the Kentucky campus as a player, but never participated in a collegiate game. And then all of a sudden, finding himself at the top end of the NBA draft without ever playing a college game. Holiday perks up a little bit when he gets to the inside, knowing that there's the possibility of some contact. First trip to the line for him here. Solid work at the line a season ago. 83% on his opportunities. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. And there's so many plays where Drew Holiday will show you just how creative he can be with the basketball. As to Sharp. Back to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Celtics trail by 20. Holiday dishes to Horford. The pass to Hauser. Gets a very good Sam look and converts. Hauser. 54 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Now here is Holiday. At the top of the key, Horford. Left side, Brown. The put back. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Grant kicks to Anderson. And Sharp has it in the corner. And there's the drive. Makes it off the glass. Six points for Shaden Sharp. And good quickness there. Sharp exciting to watch when he's in attack mode. Brown inside the line. They grab their own miss. Cornette. Portland foul. Robert Williams. First personal foul. The Celtics shoot their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. At the line for the Celtics. Luke Cornette taking two shots. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And here's Sharp. Oh, here's Henderson. It's good. Henderson's got six in the quarter. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And so is Portland cruising into the quarter break with a 22 point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jason, still a close one. What do you think happened there in the first half? Feeling all right. Uh, we got to do a much better job defensively. Uh, 
we're not where we need to be, especially on the defensive end, so we got to pick it up second half. Yeah, we'll see if you're more connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what was your impression? Well, they killed it on the glass. And they did it with high-level fundamentals. Blocking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this league will be good. And over to Shaq now. Your take on the Celtics. It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field. Well, that's not going to cut it anymore. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Uh. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Jeremy Grant, what a contribution. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. The perimeter pairing will be Simons next to Avdia. Grant steps in at four with Aiton, the big man in the middle. And it's Henderson in at the point guard. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Celtics coach Joe Mazzulla has talked about the two Jays, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. He says they've been lumped together because they play a similar position, but they don't have to be similar. They've got to be able to express who they are and not constantly be compared to each other. They're not the same. Kevin? Jason that even Tatum. remember a couple years ago, Three. there was some thought that maybe one would be traded. Glad they're still together. And the NBA is truly an international league. I mean, look no further than DeAndre Ayton, hailing from the Bahamas. Well, you love that him and Buddy Heel carrying the torch for their home country. Ayton is actually the second first overall pick from the Bahamas, the first one being the great Michael Thompson. There's the basketball mind of Henderson working. Stayed ahead of the play for the score. Tatum wide open, he fires one. And he Vincent gets it to go Tatum. from the high post. Tatum's got nine. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Grant, right side. Back to Simons. Portland moving the ball around. The rebound by the Celtics. Persingas has got four rebounds in this game. This is it to White. Goes up on the wing. Here's Tatum. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Aiton. Down low. And finished off by Avdia. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Pass to Tatum. Here's the three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Tatum's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, you know Jason Tatum can score, and that's exactly what he's done thus far. Here's Henderson, and he uses the glass on the way. And the Trailblazers lead by 20. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Outside Tatum. The dish to Brown to the inside. Porzingis and the dunk by Porzingis. Yeah, no need to settle for a layup with Porzingis inside at that size. That's an easy jam. Pass to Avdia. To the middle. 
Here's Hayton. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Holiday, the pass to White. Kept alive. And Grant sends it back. Grant's got some hurts. I mean, it's all out there, especially effective on getting to the shooters and making an impact. Any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. The Trailblazers have not yet made a free throw in the game, 0 of 2 so far. And look back a season ago, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Porzingis. Horford comes in for Brown. And it's Pritchard in for White. And that one falls for Henderson. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Outside Holiday. And stolen by Sharp. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. And Henderson throws it down hard. And Henderson doesn't need any extra motivation to head straight to the rim. Here's Holiday. He's got six. Portland foul to Mark. Devontae Graham's First checked in foul. for Portland. First team foul. Now the lineup for your Trailblazers. Devontae Graham. Two minutes remaining in the third. Holiday against Sharp. Two minutes. Pritchard passes to Tatum. That one's off. Still out of sync. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And that one's good. Bible. Bible's got his second basket of the game. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Austin making Hauser. a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Austin's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Kicks it to Holiday. To the paint. That's good from Horford on the assist Horford. by Holiday. Horford's got his first points of the night. Big Al wasting no time there. Nice looking shot. Eibel on the wing. Here's Kamare. Lays it up off the glass. Kamare, he's got his first bucket in this one. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here is Holiday. He has six. Tries again. Dan Horford lays it up and in. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Out to the right wing. Inside. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Three-pointer, Graham. Rebounded by Hauser. The Celtics have gone 7-15 from the field here in the third quarter. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. The pass to Sharp. Down low, Graham. And that one is good. It's going to make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Holiday, no one around him. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Portland rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against him. Their defense has been stifling. We come back right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. 
It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court right now for the Celtics. And it's Hauser in at the three. The small four. And good that time. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Here's Pritchard after the Trailblazers pick up two. To the middle. Here's Graham. And Graham throws it down. And it's all about the speed from Devontae Graham. You can't catch what you can't see. So it's Boston now. Here's Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Sharp. And then Sharp with the dunk. Now, whether you're new to the league like Sharp or a veteran, throwing it down, no better feeling. Here's Pritchard. Defended by Sharp. Takes the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Graham. Takes it inside. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Here's Pritchard. And the basket by Hauser. Hauser. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Sharp. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Oh, gritty play by Sharp inside. Defense puts contact on the rookie, and he still gets it to fall. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Pass to Shireman. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Portland Trail Blazers. They've played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. For Boston, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. To the inside. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Oh, that's how you drive your point home right there. Here's Sharp. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Graham's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Pritchard. Nails the wide open jump Pritchard. shot. Pritchard's got his first basket of the night. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Williams. And he banks in the lane. You know, when Williams gets position inside, he just looks to dominate physically. And then he shows you the skill set on top of it. Here's Pritchard. Passes it to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Three-pointer. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Sharp. The shot from the low post is good. An exciting player coming into his own. We're seeing all of what Sharp has in this one. Pritchard passes to Cornett. Williams with the block. Here's Sharp. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. They are trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. And Boston has possession. Here's Pritchard. Two minutes. Pass to Hauser. Fires for minutes. three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Williams has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Sharp. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Sharp's got 13 points in the second half. And nice work on the perimeter. Defenses must respect Sharp's range. The pass to Hauser. 
to stop the run. Williams with the block. With some art, chalk up two there. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Trailblazers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in Ben. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this is how you want to come out of the half prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. So it's Boston now. The Blazers getting the bucket. Bowser the pass to Cornette. Shot clock at five to the right side. And the basket Sam by Hauser. Assisted by Luke Cornette. And here are the Trailblazers. To the wing on the left. Here's Kamare. Here's Sharp. It's hauled in by Cornette. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Pritchard. Sinks the three-pointer. Pritchard. At this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Here's Murray, and it's blocked. And an intentional Murray foul right there. Foul. Really no Shot. idea why you're fouling foul. in a situation like First that. You know, maybe foul. there's some bad blood between those two. On the court. So Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Mary, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.